Okay, welcome back. Well, we're running out of daylight and uh, we can't do tours in the dark. So we're going to get airborne and we're going to uh, see how much further we can get. So we go into VR and uh, so there's not much point in doing it in the dark, is there? I could fly around the island in the dark, but uh, we won't see much. So that's a bit pointless, isn't it, really? Okay, so we'll... Uh, What's the time now? Quarter to four. So we'll we'll go as far as we can. Brakes off. Feel feels all good. Everything's in the green. Everything looks cool. Right, let's go. Enjoyed a nice cup of tea. I've been listening to uh, these articles about young Harry and his charity in uh, Africa. I'm not going to comment on that because I'm sure it'll all come out, won't it? Lots of uh, nasty allegations have been made there. And I definitely would not want to support a charity or be involved in any way with a charity that's had allegations like that levelled at them. Not at all. Wow, there's some super duper mountains here. Another little village, look, overlooking the sea. Wow, now that would be a cool place to come, wouldn't it, for a bit of a holiday. What an amazing view you've got of the sunsets from there. Let's have a look at their view of the sunset. Oh, there's more, look. There's more hidden away. Proper little hidden village hiding. Let's have a look at that sunset. Wow. What an incredible place. Right, let's carry on. There's no way we're going to get round the island today. Not a chance. Told you it was big. A boat or something out there, look. Smugglers! <laughs> Who was it said smugglers are the only honest thief? Kipling, I think.
this is cool. I'm liking this. It's a shame the light's going down. We'll have to come back here in, uh, in more daylight hours. Have a better look at this. This is pretty damn good. Definitely snow up there. More smugglers, look. There's a police boat there. Time is 10 to 4 here in Scotland. This is real time, real weather. Okay. I'm not rushing. We'll get as far as we get and that's it. We'll land and uh, we'll carry on tomorrow. The water's like glass, isn't it? We're at 90 foot off the water at the moment. A jagged rock there sticking up. There are fairy pools as well here somewhere. Don't know if they'll be depicted in X Plane.
think we go up a bit higher we can get above the cliffs here we'll be able to see a bit more won't we it's good fun flying along below the cliffs but it does impede your view somewhat another island on the tip there Looks like we've got a little lagoon there, a tidal lagoon. That should be interesting, should be easy to find on Google, I would imagine. If it's marked, it should be. It's all photographic, isn't it? Five to four. I should have checked the sunset times for the Isle of Sky, but uh, it won't be much longer. Like I say, all these uh, flights are done in uh, real time, real weather, as much as possible. None of it's edited or faked, it's just done as it happens. Okay, now pointing west. Following the island around in a clockwise direction. Keeping a lookout for anything interesting. Sun will be setting in a short while. Probably got half an hour. Can go a long way in half an hour, you know. Wow. Well, look at that. Wicked, absolutely wicked. The lake there, uh, look, we could land in the lake. At least if you had a house up here, you'd have a water supply with a pond like that, wouldn't you? 
As long as you boil this, it should be okay. Wow. It's really weird, I can feel the G-force in my chair. My brain's telling me I'm pulling a bit of G in these turns and I can feel it. It's just bizarre because I know I'm just sitting in a chair at home. 3,000 hours later. <laughs> Yes, the darkness is creeping in. Long shadows. Is it weird when you get up like this to look around and see more? VR is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I predicted many years ago that it would be. When I had the flying school, we had a, a big screen and a computer in a little room, a little, a little cupboard, and we used it as the flight simulator. So you could go in there, shut the door, and you could practice instrument flying, you know, navigation, BOR beacons, that sort of thing, NDBs, ADFs. And it was great. That's, that's all it was for, really. So you'd go in there, and you'd get your map, and you'd plot your course, and you'd do your, your beacon hopping. And... Uh, one day someone brought in Microsoft Flight Simulator and so we went from serious training on instruments to uh, dogfighting and spitfires and things and Battle of Britain <laughs> and the pilots were queuing up to get on that simulator honestly if I'd have charged money for the simulator I probably would have made more money than I did out of the aeroplanes I think we did charge £10 an hour for the uh, instrument training. I mean, it was more than that for a landing fee. But we didn't charge anything, obviously, for the flight simulator Battle of Britain stuff. You know, that was just playing... And we'd get beers from the bar and we'd be all be in there cheering each other on and watching each other dogfight. It was bizarre. And we hooked computers up together so you could be in one computer and dogfight your friend on the other one. And it was so difficult just on a screen. And I said, when this is in VR, this will be so much easier and so much better. Four o'clock. There's a clock down there, bottom right.
Another curious thing about flying is that uh, when, as the sun's going down, depending on how high you are, it can still be daylight, but it's dark on the ground because of the angle of the shadow from the sun. So you think you're going to make it in daylight, and as you descend to the airport, it's pitch dark. Which does come as a shock to some people. Especially if you don't have a night racing. Huh. I don't know. Little village in there. Few, well, a few houses. Just wondered if it was worth dipping in there. How's the sun? I've got a tremendous amount of time left. Five past four. It's a shame there's nowhere interesting to. Uh, don't want to just park up on a hill. Have to find somewhere to park up for the night. I could go through all the cold starts and uh, how to start the helicopter up, shut it down, all that. But it will just take more time. And we're using up enough time as it is. Right. What a nice big estuary here. Bound to be somewhere interesting to stop for the night. One will be sleeping in the helicopter. We've got lots of... Uh, tea bags and kettles and things and sleeping bags but we can uh, nice to find a pub wouldn't it and it does look like I'm in luck because we've got houses scattered around here it looks to me that the majority of them are dead ahead. So we shall have to find a spot, and I think we're going to call it a day here. And we can carry on our tour of the uh, island of Skye tomorrow. Okay, this is an enormous estuary, and it goes on quite a long way. It probably goes all the way down to Portree I would imagine but we're going to stop here in this village I think unless we see something outstandingly more interesting like a castle I'm sure there was a castle around here somewhere maybe on the other side I'm hoping there's a there's a pub there's a pub here somewhere okay whole estuary to go up there. I'm going to go all the way up there, yeah, before we come back to here. So, I'm not going to cut the estuary off, otherwise people will be disappointed, because if you live in the Isle of Skye, uh, or you know the Isle of Skye well, because there's another town up there by the looks of it. Let's have some wheels. So, I'm definitely going to land here somewhere. Let's look for a spot. For a pub, more like. Street lights are on, look. The house on the hill. Is there anything else over there? Uh, a few more over here. I see, I see a good spot up ahead.
Yes, that looks like a good spot. So if we had Prince William on board, we'd be laughing, wouldn't we? We'd just go, I say, uh, if you mind awful if we park here overnight, it's with Prince William. Prince William's uh, here. Would you like your autograph, your photograph taken with him? And they'd be like, ah, yes, cool. No problem, you can park wherever you want, yeah. Right, this is it, everybody, this is it. We're, uh, Getting to land here. Looks flatter over there, actually. It's hard to tell. Undulating surfaces can be tricky. No, we're not slipping sideways. That's good. Okay. I think we'll call that a night for tonight. So, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow for part three of our tour. Hope you enjoyed part two of our tour of uh, the Isle of Skye.